Hello and welcome to our accounting discussion series. A group of uh, faculties and professionals of accounting initiated this series and I'm extremely happy to see both practitioners, young practitioners and young teachers of accounting today attending this session. As a teacher of accounting, there is often a question comes to mind, how should we balance the principles and the practice? Should we stress on the principles or should we stress more on the practice? But on the basis of my experience, I'll say that it is important to understand the principles and it is necessary for the teachers to drive in the importance of the principles in the class. Let the students be absolutely clear about the principles, about uh, the nitty-gritty of the accounting standard and then understand and observe the manifestation of this principles. So in case we have any confusion anywhere in the business practice, it is always advisable to go back to the standard, read that standard, fall back on the standard, understand the each and every word in the standard and accordingly use that. So therefore, in this series of discussion, we would like to pick up some important standards, link it up with the principles and also use the lens of practice to understand how these standards are used. So I thank all of you to at for attending this discussion series. Hope we will continue this association. To start with, I know that all of you are, are experienced teachers and experienced professionals, but still I would like to start the discussion with this basic question. What is financial accounting? What definition that you have in your mind? The way you see financial accounting influences to a great extent the way you teach financial accounting. In other words, if you see financial accounting as a mechanical knowledge, then you make accounting teaching also a bit mechanical. So therefore, it is necessary for all of us to have our own definition of financial accounting. And that definition should be such that it will be robust, wide and should have the ability to capture the, the dynamics of accounting. So when we ask this question, what is financial accounting, we got several answers. Some say that accounting is an information system for the stakeholders. Some say that accounting is a social science to provide information. Some say accounting is a language of business. And some say that it is a measurement yardstick. Accounting also say, say to provide a basis for recognition of the financial transactions. Accounting is something which is required for statutory purpose. So it is just a statutory requirement. It's a disclosure mechanism of assets, liabilities, incomes and expenses. 
accounting is an interpretation of financial statements <coughs> and some also said which we are generally taught that is a recording of transactions now if you see that there is a variety of definitions so the definition the way you see accounting will, as I mentioned, will influence the way you understand and the way you understand will influence the way you teach accounting. So these are the different ways in which professional accounting accountants and teachers have given their views. Each one of these definition has a strength to explain accounting and each one is also has its own limitation. No one particular definition will be robust enough to address every facet of such a rich knowledge called financial accounting. So for my class I try to keep the definition in such a way that it will actually capture two important aspects of financial accounting. So I say that the financial accounting is a process. Is a process of what? Is a process of measurement. Is a process of measuring and converting the business decisions into financial statements. I stress measurement. I don't see financial accounting particularly well teaching the postgraduate students as just the process of recording or just a statutory requirement but I say that it is a science of measurement. So therefore it's a process of measurement, it's a process of measuring, measuring what? measuring business decisions. Why do you want to measure the business decisions? Because we want to convert the business decisions into financial statements. So therefore financial accounting is a process of measuring and converting the business decisions into the financial statements. In the process, I'm not saying that these definitions are not right or are not rich. But I want to drive in the robustness of this definition. In the process, I feel that the financial accounting is, is rich enough to capture any business decisions. But where if you teach financial accounting at a postgraduate level as a concept of measurement or as a process of measurement you are actually forcing students to think through not just follow the law not just follow the accounting standard not blindly adhere to some principle but just understand the principle use the principle and value the transaction convert the transaction. So as an accounting person, particularly as a senior person or getting into the shoes of senior manager using the financial statement, it is always better to see accounting not as a financial recording only or recording of transactions only but as a process of measurement. And this process is not arbitrary. This process is governed by the generally accepted accounting principle. So it is a, pr it's a process which is based on principles. So it is a science. But since this process is measurement process, depending on the business decisions, context, situation, nature of the business, time of the business, so therefore there is some subjectivity in measuring that. So therefore accounting is not just science but also an art. I stress the word art 
because it can improve you can improve that skill of selecting the proper measure by using more and more of it by understanding repeating using revising revisiting those definitions and those principles of measurement and so the three terms that I would like to briefly touch upon the business decisions all the business decisions can be classified into financing decisions investment decisions and operating decisions you pick up any organization what do you want to understand you want to understand the decisions taken by the management and these decisions can be broadly classified into FD ID and OD we are saying that accounting can measures these decisions and puts them in the financial statements and these financial statements are balance sheet income statement cash flow statement I'm not defining these statements because you all know what are these statements. but later on we can pick up each statement and critically understand the purpose objective how the measurement will affect that so at this stage it is necessary that we have to inform to the student that every transaction will appear in the financial statements but the way it affects the financial position financial health and the cash flows will depend on how you measure the financial transactions or how you measure the business decision so measurement of the business decision is actually the root is actually the crux of financial account is not the recording of transaction but the measurement of course the way financial accounting is taught at an undergrad level because we want to make accounting accountants only but financial accounting is not just for accountants financial accounting is also meant for analysts is also meant for managers is also meant for planners so if you are not an accountant, you are not just a book recorder, but a book user, then the understanding the principles of measurement is more important than just understanding the recording of transaction. But you can ask a question, what is this measurement? Measuring what? Measuring of the financial item. The conceptual framework of financial accounting lays the foundation for financial state financial accounting. The conceptual statement says that there are certain important items which are required to be measured and all the business decisions that we come across involve financial items and these financial items have been classified by the conceptual framework as incomes, expenses, assets liabilities and equity so if you see financial accounting not as a recording but as a measurement not just a process of transferring the items into journal then ledger then trial balance then financial statement instead of making it mechanical make it more creative critical interpretation then accounting becomes more challenging to teach instead of making the students to remember memorize the principles called the golden principles of accounting if we can tell that accounting involves some amount of thinking and the thinking is with respect to measuring the financial item what is a value of income how much should I show in the income statement what is a value of an asset what is a value of the liability how will the decision of measuring that asset or an expense will affect the financial statement is an is 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 equally important or sometime maybe more important than just the process of recording the in fact now the recording of transaction has been taken over by 
the development in the IT. So what we need to teach to the accounting students is this stress on by, by laying a stress on the principles of measurement. Measure incomes properly, measure expenses properly, measure assets properly, measure liabilities properly and measure equity. If you see today most of the problems that we see in the capital markets is actually with respect to the valuations of the business and how can we serve the business community or the society as a large without teaching the accountants who create the financial statement the process of measuring the business transactions the process of giving value to the business item so therefore let us see the accounting not just as a process of recording the transaction but measuring the transactions and converting the business decisions into financial statements. Thank you very much.